Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 10 here on Planet 26. Well, in the last episode, we went out and got uh, magnesium so we could start uh, processing and making ammo so that we could start putting up some base defenses. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Let's go in here and take a look. We should have... Uh, looks like everything's processed, so we've got 192 uh, on the magnesium. And we're going to be putting in turrets, so we're going to be making... We've got 17 in the assembler. Uh, this turret already has its full complement, and we've got another 14 in the connector. So, what I wanted to do today was try to put up, uh, actually what I should do is, let's get, let's, oh, I need nickel. Uh, I need to go grab nickel. Uh, let's, uh, go ahead and get... Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 into the queue. And it looks like it's got some to start making it. So we can go grab some more nickel. But what I wanted to do was put up about four installation or turret posts. Uh, one off in this direction probably. One off over in that direction. Uh, one off over on the other side and maybe one off down in that direction. This way we at least have some protection from these guys should something go wrong. And then that way we can kind of keep building away. So I think what I will do is go grab some more nickel and uh, put that into the uh, uh, assembler up here and then I will get started on building out what I have uh, planned for my uh, turret uh, installations and uh, then I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, well just here's a little bit of an update. Uh, of course I moved the big uh, planet rover over to help uh, build this. Now I'm in the process of getting the planetary defenses put in. And this is the first bunker. So what I've got going here is the battery. I'm, I, of course, it's uh, running. You know, nickel is in short supply. So I'm building the power cells as I can get the nickel. I think once I get the power defenses in, then nickel is going to be the next thing we go after. Again, I uh, have... Uh, the, a small cargo container because the Gatlin gun's going to sit right up on top of this and then I'll be able to supply it with uh, uh, ammo from down below down here. And again, I need metal grids and I need nickel. So this is going to be a window over here. These are going to be windows with bulletproof glass in through here. Uh, this door, well, this is going to be the door, obviously, but I don't have any power yet, so I can't open and close it. Uh, a small wind turbine here, uh, which will supply enough power for this. Uh, it will actually keep the battery powered up, and so should uh, these have to come into action, uh, if this gets shot, they'll still have the battery to work off of as far as for power. So that's what we kind of got going. I also, we're going to run over here to the uh, respawn pod, and I figured I'd better get this taken care of. So I'm in the process. We're going to put in a quick charging station so that we can attach this up. So let me move this over. So otherwise, this is going to... Uh, despawn on me once that power runs out. So, let's uh, get out of here like this. 
Uh, parking brake? Yep. Okay. And I happen to put in a charging station over here, or I will have here in just a minute. Uh, I think I gotta get this turned around. Uh, which side is my power on? This side here. So we need to turn this around. A little closer. I think that should do it. Let's park it. Let's hop out. Let's get this built. And I can remember how to do this. Uh, that's remove connection. Let's place the cable. We can place it over here. And that should have... Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Now we're connected. That should be charging that battery up. Let's take a look at... Let's see. Of course, the problem with the charging station is it cooks everything in. So, uh, let's uh, go to generator. Where are you at? Battery. So, it is... Yeah, it's going to be charged up here pretty darn quick. Fully charged in 20 minutes. I didn't want this to respawn yet. I might end up just disassembling this whole thing. But it is a nice little rover if I need to kind of run around uh, real quickly in some places. A little faster than the planet rover. But yeah, it uh, helps out a little bit. Alright, well... Once I get that uh, bunker finished, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Alright, well, I'm a little bit closer with getting this uh, bunker in. Uh, I've actually got power now. So I got this wind turbine up here. And it, as you can see, it's not generating a lot. But what it's going to do is ever so slowly get this battery up to speed since there really isn't a lot uh, taking power on here. Really, we've got uh, this cargo container, which is complete. And it's not sucking any energy. And then you've got the window door that uh, is only need, needs 10 watts. The wind turbine is putting out uh, 147 kilowatts right now. Obviously, it's going to show poor clearance, but that's okay. It doesn't need uh, that. As you can see, the battery is getting stored power. It says it'll be fully recharged in 18 hours, and that's fine. It's just going to kind of sit here, so it'll get that uh, completely restored. Uh, I still have to put the windows in, and so I'm going to start on those next, and I actually have to finish the turret. So let's go up. And let's uh, see if we can get everything that we need for it. And see if we can get this wind turbine uh, up. Or wind turbine. Get the Gatlin gun up. Cool. I was able to get all of So let's do this then. Uh, I know I've got... That's in the turret here. Let's grab ten of these. And we'll go up here. I need to put guardrails all the way around as well. All right. Let's uh, put uh, this here so we actually have ammo in. And let's just check the output on it. So it's got the input power of 2 kilowatts. So that windmill, or that wind turbine, is providing more than enough. 
And then we've got the battery that'll have the backup. All right. Well, like I said, I got to put guardrails and stuff all the way up around here. Uh, I will uh, get that done. I'll get the windows in, and then I'll catch back up with you once I have uh, have completed this. I'm getting pretty close to having it uh, completed. So, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right. Well, I actually think I've got this one done. Uh, it's taken longer than I thought it would, so I'm not sure if I'll get all four of them done today, but uh, here's what I've got. So let's just go up above. Uh, stairs to get up. We can uh, access our turret up here. You can see it's working away. Uh, we currently have 10 rounds of ammo in there. We'll ultimately uh, get this filled to capacity and we'll end up getting uh, additional backup into the cargo container. But I've got the safety in with the rails all the way around. Uh, if we go down here... Uh, we've got the wind turbine working. Uh, it is ever so slowly building up power into the battery for backup. I've got the door set up and it's on a sensor so it will open and close. We've got a little bit of storage containers uh, and we've got a uh, a desk or something that we can at least look out of. Uh, let's hop back out of here and we got the battery in place. And let's just see what uh, what it says. It still says fully recharged in 18 hours. Current output is 4 kilowatts. Current input is 147. So uh, it is ever so slowly going to get uh, recharged, fully charged. But that's fine. It can just sit here and do that. Uh, I've got lights set up on here. So... So we'll be able to see the light. So, yeah, this one is basically done. And so next is another one. Uh, I've got to kind of figure out where I'm going to put it. Uh, my real problem is, though, and, and actually what I think... Well, I'll start building on the next one. I'll get as much as I can, but what I'm having a real difficult time with is just getting enough nickel uh, to build with. We might have to go down and start doing a little scrounging, because actually salvage is in the name of our company, so uh, we, we probably got stuff that we can scrounge around down there, uh, but what I really would like to do is get a nickel mine set up so that'll be one thing that we will plan on plan on doing so let me uh, get started on the next uh, uh, bunker and I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit all right just to give you a little bit of an update I'm am working on that second uh, turret bunker and I've got a lot of the skeletal parts in so I still got to do the battery I got to get those power cells uh, I've got the windows all uh, I got the skeletals of the windows in uh, same with the cargo container and obviously we've got a storm brewing a sandstorm uh, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I've got the scaffolding or the stairways up and I've got this all laid out and then I got this here. So making some progress on this. I don't know if I'll get this done today. I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. I'm going to work a little bit more on this and then at uh, some point I've got to uh, slow down and uh, uh, step out of the game. So trying to get this, trying to get as much of this done today but running a little short on time so 
Anyway, just wanted to give you a bit of an update, uh, and uh, I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right, well, as I mentioned just a little bit ago, uh, I'm probably not going to get this finished today, but I do have it up and running. So as you can see, we got the turret working. Uh, I've got uh, 10 rounds of ammo in it, and so uh, it is actually functional right now. I still have to build out all of the scaffolding or all of the catwalks up here, and I have to build this out. Uh, I have to finish all of the half windows uh, and uh, I got to put the door in and I've got to finish up uh, putting the desk in and uh, a few of the crates but I do have the uh, cargo container done obviously the batteries done and I have the wind turbine done so again it's functional uh, and so that's where we're going to probably call it good video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal uh, I'm just uh, it's taken longer to do this mainly because I have had to go and, and mine a lot of stone just to get the nickel that I need so I think that's going to be a priority uh, once I get this one completely finished uh, going and finding uh, where I can uh, get nickel it's all a little they're all just a little bit farther away than I care to uh, so uh, we'll have to kind of like the magnesium where we made that trip for the magnesium so that's what we're going to be doing with the nickel anyway uh, I think that, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up right here the weather's at least calmed down somewhat and uh, we have made progress we've got uh, at least a couple of functional turret bunkers in. One's completed and one uh, is uh, probably about 80% completed. So yeah, so we made some progress today. All right. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel. Uh, all right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.